Today we'll be talking about sodium reduction. I'm Dr. Michael Todd, Medical Director at Mercy Health. An overview of sodium. Sodium is a mineral that is essential for life and has many roles in the body. It helps control blood pressure and blood volume. It helps control fluid balance and it regulates functions of muscles and nerves. Sodium is regulated in the body by the kidneys. Sodium occurs naturally in most foods as dietary sodium. The most common form is sodium chloride, otherwise known as table salt. Table salt is 40% sodium. One teaspoon contains 2300 milligrams of sodium. One tablespoon contains 6900 milligrams of sodium. Sodium is also added to many food products. Monosodium glutamate, MSG, sodium nitrate, sodium saccharin, sodium benzoate, and sodium bicarbonate, that's known as baking soda. These are found in items such as soy sauce, W sauce, as my family likes to say, onion salt, garlic salt, etc. How is sodium used in food? It's used for flavor enhancements, color enhancements, food safety, like food preservation, and thickening agents, like baking soda, processed foods. Excess sodium typically isn't a result of using the salt shaker. Rather, it's found in highly processed foods. About three quarters of the sodium Americans consume is from processed, packaged, and restaurant foods. A processed food is any food that has been changed from its original raw form. Here are some examples of processed foods. The top sources of sodium are chicken, pizza, soup, sandwiches, cold cuts and cured meats, breads and rolls. In addition to high levels of sodium, highly processed foods account for 50%, that's right, 50% of the calories in the American diet and 90% of the added sugars in the American diet. That's staggering. The AHA recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams of salt a day for adults. That's equal to one teaspoon of table salt. Ideally, no more than 1,500 milligrams a day for most adults. Recommended for those with hypertension, those with congestive heart failure or liver cirrhosis, and kidney disease may need much lower. On average, though, Americans consume more than 3,400 milligrams of sodium a day. What about the AHA recommendations for youth? There are no specific recommendations for sodium amounts in infants, children, and teens. However, 1,500 milligrams is ideal for heart health of all Americans. Eating habits and attitudes in adults' lives are developed through, throughout childhood, so limiting sodium consumption at an early age can be ben very beneficial into the adult years. Sodium consumption in youths. On average, kids aged 2 to 19 eat more than 3,100 milligrams of sodium per day. Boys aged 12 to 19 consume the most sodium, an average of 4,200 milligrams a day. Girls between 12 and 19 consume about 2,900 milligrams a day. Grocery store bought food and restaurant foods make up about 83% of the sodium kids eat today. The leading contributors to the sodium consumption of age, children aged 6 to 18 include pizza, bread and rolls, cold cuts and cured meats, savory snacks like chips and pretzels, sandwiches, hamburgers, plain cheese, chicken patties, chicken nuggets and tenders, pasta mixed dishes, Mexican mixed dishes, and soup. So what are the effects of excess sodium on our diets? Extensive research has shown that sodium can cause high blood pressure, the primary cause of heart disease and stroke. Excess sodium in the bloodstream puts, pulls water into the blood vessels, increasing the amount of blood inside, which increases the blood pressure. Blood pressure increases as volume increases. Over time, increased blood pressure may injure blood vessel walls and speed up plaque buildup, potentially blocking blood flow. Increased pressure also forces the heart to work harder, causing further damage. However, a vast body of research has shown that lowering sodium intake reduces blood pressure in adults. 
Now let's switch to talking about potassium. Like sodium, potassium is a mineral that is essential for the body to function properly. Potassium helps control blood pressure and helps blunt the effects of excess sodium. The more potassium we consume, the more sodium is excreted out of the body through urine. However, potassium consumption should not replace sodium reducing efforts. Though potassium is typically found in fruits and vegetables and other foods that are naturally low in sodium. Nutrition. It is crucial to have a diet that provides you with the nutrients you need to be healthy. A healthy diet helps control weight, cholesterol, and blood pressure. Some general comments about nutrition. A balanced diet should include a variety of fruits and vegetables, fiber-rich whole grains, nuts, beans, and legumes, low-fat dairy products, skinless poultry and fish, healthier fats, and non-tropical oils. A balanced diet should limit saturated fat, limit sodium, limit fat, fatty or processed foods like red meat, limit sweet and added sugars, and limit overall nutrient-poor foods. A balanced diet, you should try to avoid trans fats or partially hydrogenated oils. It's important to understand the basics of nutrition because what you eat is important and the impact it has on your body. No. Understanding nutrition. Learning the basics about the food you're eating and how they impact your body can help you make healthier choices. Being mindful of nutrition can help with preparing balanced meals and ordering food while out at restaurants. Take the time to learn to read labels. Sodium comes in many forms and can be seen on ingredient labels as salt or soda and even sodium. Often sodium is hidden in multiple different words on the labels. Look below and look at all the different ways of hiding sodium in the diet. While cooking at home, you can monitor exactly what and how much you eat when you prepare your own meals. Sodium content, sugar content, preparation methods, etc. Provides a creative outlet for you and your family. Mix it up. Use different recipes. Create your own recipes. Choose fresh produce and homemade soups over pre-made, frozen and canned items. While you're cooking at home, find different sodium or salt alternatives. Use herbs and spices, garlic and onions, and even citrus. Choose food preparation methods to reduce the amount of sodium. Choose to cook by grilling or braising or roasting or searing or sauteing. These methods can bring out the natural flavors in food. Thus, this will reduce the need to add salt. This allows you to appreciate the true flavor of foods you're consuming. When you have the chance, prep and pack your own meals. Prepping meals and snacks throughout the week can be a major time saver. Ma making food beforehand helps you avoid convenient processed foods and helps you consume appropriate portions. When you're choosing condiments, choose carefully. Bottled soy sauce, salad dressing, dips, ketchup, salsas, capers, mustards, pickles, olives, and relish can contain high amounts of sodium. Look for reduced sodium versions and even think about making your own at home. Eating out can be stressful when trying to reduce sodium. Choose grilled, steamed, baked, or roasted options. These may have a lot less sodium. Foods that are fried, crispy, or creamed are high in fat and calories. Control your portion size. When you cut calories, you usually cut sodium. Ask for to-go boxes, split meals. When you're eating out, avoid adding table salt. Choose entrees that feature seafood, chicken, or lean meat. Many large restaurant chains now have healthier options labeled. Choose those. 